All the top stories you need to know before you start your day. First, more than a thousand people marched through Columbia for the 17th consecutive day of protests following the death of George Floyd. Sunday's demonstration was meant to be a recreation of the 19, a recreation that is, of the 1995 Million Man March in the National Mall. The protesters marched from MLK Park to the State House to send a message in support of racial equality and against police brutality here in our country. Well, a protest was also held in Sumter where hundreds participated in a march calling for an end to racism and violence in our community. The march was hosted by Alice Drive Baptist Church and members of 70 other churches in the area joined in. Many law enforcement officers also marched alongside residents. The march began at Grace Baptist Church on Calhoun Street and ended at the Sumter County Courthouse. A brief program followed where speakers led the crowd in prayer discuss what Sumter County is doing to battle racism and how we can make a positive change by starting with our own communities. Well, out of Chester County this morning, new body cam footage has been released of an officer involved shooting from six months ago when police shot and killed a man in a Walmart park parking lot. Now we want to warn you, some of the footage is graphic and you might find it disturbing. 28 year old Arion McCree was shot and killed by police in November outside a Chester Walmart. He was handcuffed at the time of the shooting after being detained for suspicion of shoplifting. Police said that the video shows the officer acted in self-defense, but family members say the handcuffed man was not a threat. The officers involved have not been charged with any crimes. And don't forget, starting today, Columbia's Comet bus system will require riders to wear a face mask or covering when riding any Comet vehicle or entering any Comet building. This comes as South Carolina is experiencing a big increase in COVID-19 cases. The Comet will offer bus passengers masks prior to boarding and will have masks available through July 31st or until supplies are depleted. Riders who need to be excused for verified medical reasons should contact the Comet before attempting to access the Comet services. We have all this information on our website, WLTX.com.